there was an air of confidence at Highlanders training this afternoon. A first up win has installed a sense of self-belief within the squad. This belief is evident in the Young Island Flyer who scored one of the tries of round one. I think I was at the right place at the right time. Uh, but when I went through I was like just looking at the try line so, and hoping that I'll get there. Fikatal was a member of the blue side last year but failed to score game time. He then made the move to the Highlanders to make his name heard, a decision he's glad he made. Here I am, um, everyone is just, uh, just different from way back up north, um, everyone just sort of like to hang out with everyone else and um, all the, the community um, helping us out and supporting us and, and stuff when we're around. Fikata has 15 siblings with several brothers also playing the 15-man game. Bax coach Tony Brown says Fikata came in from day one focused and ready to contribute. He's a very fit um, Tongan boy so you don't get many of those. He trains hard and um, you know he goes to Hundi at training all the time and I think he's been given the nickname Hundi so, uh, <laughs> so but uh, no, very dedicated and, and good training athlete. The Highlanders will face a much different environment from last week's match at Forsyth Bar Stadium, travelling to Hamilton to face the Chiefs, a place where they have won only one of their last six encounters. Yeah, it is a tough, tough place to play and they've got a pretty proud home record so I'm sure they'll be at their, at their best. It's just up to us to prepare well and go up there and give it our best shot. The stats get even worse for the Southern side, winning just two games against the Waikato team in the last ten years. If Fikata can help his side to a win against the league's best team, the coaching staff may just have to take a look at some of his younger siblings. John McKenzie, 39, Deneen News.